morning guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello thanks for coming i am about to go do my fasted cardio i just started today is the first official day of doing my new gut protocols if y'all follow me on instagram you know what's up if you don't i'll explain later as i'm eating my meal when i get back from cardio but i still have technically reversing out of a very aggressive deficit slash like mock bodybuilding prep we jumped up food a good bit and by we i mean my coach and i jumped up food a good bit the week before and then an even bigger jump this week in addition to adding in a bunch of gut supplements and i'll explain what's going on in my gut when i get back because i still got I still got some fasted cardio like I do. I don't have to do it fasted, but I'm just choosing to do it fasted so I don't get to the end of the day and push it off because we are not gonna, we don't do that around here. We don't put our eggs in our future self's basket if we know we probably won't. Plus, I'm probably gonna see my friend later. And I wanna make sure that I can hang out with her instead of being like, I gotta do my cardio. I'll just do it now. Um, so I'm gonna do my cardio and then I'll come back here, take some more of my supplements, eat my meal plan, food, and give you a little debrief as to what's been going on. Also, I don't have eyebrows on, and it looks like I don't have eyebrows. Not like on, but like I didn't draw them in. I can't believe I didn't use it. Does anybody not do their eyebrows still? Or maybe I just have really light eyebrows. I'm like in a talkative mood. I like don't have anybody to talk to in the mornings. So here we are. But I had to go to two different supplement stores yesterday to get all the shit that I needed. And I was like, my all my shakers are very old. Kind of smell, but should probably show, throw them out. There's probably a little mold growing in there. Probably doesn't help the situation. Um, so I got this one from the vitamin shop. Tell me this isn't, let's see if it'll focus. It's sebum and it says champion mentality. Tell me this isn't the sexiest shaker cup from the sexiest man. Like try telling me that, I will not believe you. I just have water in here. I'm trying to get enough water in in the morning. We front load our water around here uh, so we don't get to the end of the day and be stuck having to chug a bunch of water because that happens. It's not a good time. Okay, I'm gonna do my lip school. Okay, so I just got back from doing my cardio and got myself a little bit ready. So I'm gonna eat. Typically, I like to have two meals before I train, but just because my digestion's been weird, which I'll get to in a minute, let me let me eat first. I've been doing just my one meal and then training just in case my digestion gets kind of fucked up because then I get insanely bloated and it's really painful and uncomfortable and it affects my training. Not only just like, I have to wear a t-shirt or sweatshirt because I look pregnant and that's not fun, but like it physically is like distended so much, like it hurts and I feel super nauseous and like unwell. So I'm gonna make my pre-workout meal. I'm on a meal plan right now, so my pre-workout meal is the exact same thing that I always eat. Uh, can you see? YouTuber of the year. But my food is so much higher than it was before, even than like what it was on my refeed days. I don't even know if I've had this much cream of rice in one sitting in my life, like ever. Perfect. Okay, so basically I'm doing cream of rice, protein powder, and almond butter. I'm gonna make this really quick because I feel like y'all know how to do that by now. If you don't, let me know, but I just follow the box and I'll talk to you after. So I made my cream of rice. So I figured I'm gonna sit here and start eating it while I explain what's going on. Where do I start? So I did my mock prep for like bodybuilding, very aggressive cut to get pretty lean. Did that for a little over 12 weeks because we started a little sooner than like officially because after like the holidays and I was sick when I was back home and like I couldn't really train, couldn't really eat and we're like, hey, we're just gonna start like lowering food, adding a little bit more cardio and then started like actually like, this is our start date, kind of kept pushing from there. Um, so I did that, got pretty lean, lost about 15 pounds in total. I didn't even realize that till like the end of it. We weren't going for a certain like number initially. I thought I was gonna be like about like 118-ish. We kept going and I was like 114-ish just because I hold all my fat and my glutes and my thighs and we were trying to see basically like my glute shape, my tie-in shape because that's like super freaking important for bikini. Not only know like the muscle but also like the shape that is there so we know exactly what we need to do for this like improvement growing season right now. And like my upper body, so like my arms, my shoulders, my back, my torso, it all stays pretty lean normally. So that's why like it looks absolutely crazy. Then you see my legs, which also don't have a lot of muscle on them anyway. And it's like, okay, yeah, those are not as impressive, which is like my legs have always been my insecurity. We inside track. So we finished that. And then we were gonna start reversing. So we did start reversing and I got a good bump in food. Nothing super crazy, dropping cardio. And my gut went absolutely freaking nuts. I did not add in any different foods. I didn't do anything different. 
and it to the, was to the point where like so it was like not just bloating it was like distension like it was gas built up like in my lower stomach and it, like i would wake up with it and it was just it would get to the point where like it would be painful it was always uncomfortable it affected like my training brain fog like all that kind of stuff like i was i looked so pregnant no matter like what i did and i was so like i just felt like miserable and honestly just so devastated because i used to have gut issues before if y'all have been following me for a bit since no but i'll i'll spare you the details so i was like frick all i want to do right now is just up my food and just train fucking hard and like just grow and put on a lot of muscle just get strong like love the gym just i see that i'm small i just want to grow that happened for a couple days and i messaged my coach this is what's up i'm pissed and like fucking terrified that i'm gonna have to do like a gut protocol so he's like okay i'll send you over like a whole updated thing we're gonna do some stuff first before seeing if we can fix that and then if we need to we'll refer you out this is like burning my hand we'll like refer you out to someone and we'll do like a gi map gut protocol if we need to all that kind of stuff but like he's like we want to try to avoid that see if we can just kind of fix stuff first and then continue to grow because that's like what our goal is for the rest of this year possibly into next year like i just have a lot of muscle to put on I'm on a meal plan now, which I'll show you guys the foods that I'm eating. And it's like an elimination diet, kind of. It's not like a traditional one, but we're just going to get super basic. And it's pretty much all the stuff that I normally eat. I'm not going to use any like seasonings, any sauces. I'm just using salt and cinnamon. The only artificial stuff I'm having is like, I have protein powder, but it's a pretty clean protein powder. And then like any like EAAs or stuff like that. But I've always been pretty okay with those stuff. So, and I'll, I'll obviously pay attention to my body if I'm like, mm, maybe I should pull that, see how I respond. But then I'm also on a bunch of supplements. As you guys saw this morning, I'm taking glutamine and apple cider vinegar when I wake up. Um, take glutamine post-training. And then I take bathing HCL. Helps with digestion. I take this with every meal. And then I've got Calm Plus is a cortisol management formula from Revive. I'm taking this and magnesium glycinate. I'll take half of the dosage post-training and then like with that meal and then half of the dosage like an hour before bed i think that's all for supplements and then like i said i got like the meal plan and then i have to do certain things i'll read them off and this is all like normal stuff that i try to be mindful of but i know i'm always not good at um she so says short walk after each meal even if it's just around the house that's to help digestion um drink water between meals not with meals that's for digestion I already do that conscious effort to chew food more before swallowing, even if it feels like too much. And then it says, be sitting down and relaxed every meal, doing nothing else but um, but eat, no work, chores, etc. Bad about both of those two because I'm always like, I gotta eat so I can get to my next thing, or like I wait a while to have food and I'm like super hungry. And then he says, time meals to where you have a 10 to 12 hour fast, aka last meal at 8 p.m., don't eat again until 8 a.m. So that I typically always do anyway because I stop eating somewhat early in the night. So I just have to be mindful of that one because that's one where if I was going to forget something, that would be it. And I also stopped greens. I stopped taking the GI Plus just because GI Plus has uh, probiotics. I'm still taking the fiber to make sure I get my fiber in for the day just to help me so my body can actually like clear out all the food that I'm eating because like I said, my food went up a ton. I plugged it into my fitness pal just to see where stuff would be at and it is substantially higher than before. Also a lot higher than any like my refeed dates that I've had. So I'm very excited to hopefully not feel like fatigued to feel just fucking good at the gym. I first thought of like, that's a lot of food for my body to process. However, part of what could be going on and this is what I'm hoping is what's happening is if you are dieting so hard for so long, your thyroid could downregulate, which is probably what happened. Your testosterone could downregulate as well as like other things. But those two things being downregulated could cause issues with bloating and all that kind of stuff. So I just need more time out of a deficit to be able to upregulate like my hormones. I know I have a history of like my hormones will downregulate when I'm in a deficit just because I spent so much time chronically like dieting myself just because I didn't know what I was doing when I first started my fitness journey. So the hope is that I just take time out of a deficit. My body's like, oh shit, we're good. Like we can like normal normally function my, my gut will be good so um i'm to the point where i'm fully rambling i just really want to eat my food so i'm gonna go eat my food and then i'll show you guys probably like my neck like when i make my cell go to the gym i don't really know but i'm gonna take you through my day i'll show you all my meals um yeah all right hello so i'm gonna make my intro workout drink that i'm supposed to start drinking like 30 ish minutes before the gym then i'll finish up while i'm there so i'm gonna make that and go figure out what i'm gonna wear and then get to the gym to go hit back and biceps yeah yes i do raws these are the pineapple flavor it's my favorite flavor yes help to basically just try to keep me in a catabolic state um or anabolic state not catabolic state we don't want that um and then i've got 
creatine, monohydrate, the only kind of creatine you should be taking. And then, sorry, I'm like so tired right now. Carbolin for 20 grams of carbs intra workout. Carbolin now specifically just because it's got cluster dextrin, glucose, and deribose. And this is the blue rasp watermelon flavor. So I have no idea how these flavors are gonna mix. I'm a little nervous. We also put pink salt in there. So it's gonna be a little tropical drink. I don't know, I'm hopeful. I'll give you a little taste test, I guess. I guess I should explain the reasoning behind taking all these. So I explained to the EAAs, creatine, I feel like everybody talks about what creatine is. It's not this magic thing. I have a highlight on my Instagram that's like super far back. It's literally the first time I ever talked about my story. So don't judge me, but it just explains like what creatine is and why it's beneficial to take. So if anybody asks, do you recommend I take it? Yes, just take like three to five grams every single day. And then even on your off days, you take it post-workout, take it whenever, literally just fucking take it. Um, it doesn't work acutely, it just works via saturation. And then carbolin intra-workout carbs because carbs are what your body uses as its primary fuel source for lifting. So if we're giving our body more carbs, we can push harder, have a better workout. If we can push harder, we can progressively overload more, get more stimulus to our body to adapt and change and build muscle, which is what I'm trying to do right now. So more energy, better workout, better workout, better gains. And I put my salt in. I was like, why does it taste weird? I actually don't mind it though. Like it tastes like a tropical, like the pineapple blue raspberry is kind of a vibe. Like I feel like that's like a juice flavor, like a Hawaiian punch kind of thing. Maybe that's what it tastes like. But I need a gram. I actually like these flavors. I don't like fake watermelon, so I would love it if it didn't have fake watermelon in it, but like the blue raspberry and pineapple, I would recommend. All right, we got dressed and ready for the gym. Figured I'd show you my fit. I literally live in these Alpha Elite men's oversized zip hoodies. I get a medium. And then I got a dark sport wolves sports bra. It's like the Lululemon flow wide bra on the back. But cooler, it says wolves. And then I got on, these are like the OG Alpha Elite Amplify, like the three and a half inch inseam, which I like. I wish they would bring them back. I freaking hate the four and a half inch ones. Cause I have to hike them up because I don't like my shorts going like halfway down my thighs. It just doesn't look good. And then they're all like bunched weird and there's too much material and the waistbands are higher now and it's just this whole thing. So if Christian, you ever see this or anybody else that helps with design, oh my gosh, I'm not in focus. Are we good? Are we good? Please bring back the three and a half. Or if anybody knows of another brand like the Arola or whatever, like Amazon brands, if they are similar to the Amplifies, but they're three and a half inches. If someone could let a girl know, because I don't really care about the brand at this point. I just want it to fit and look how I wanted to, you know? And then my shoes, eh, they're not Jordans. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what they are. I'm not a shoe girl. I saw my friend had them and I wanted them, so I paid a lot of money to get them. But I'm gonna go. I am drinking a little bit of pump and a little bit of pre. So tired and I really wanna have a workout. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how my stomach reacts. It feels not amazing but not terrible. So I'm not gonna film you guys at the gym because this is gonna be like way too freaking long. Otherwise, but I'll catch you guys later when I do all my other supplements. Okay, so I just got home from the gym. I drank my glutamine and then took the magnesium, glycinate, and my Calm Plus on the way back. I just took my bathing HDL that I take with every meal, and then my post-workout is just jasmine rice and chicken breast. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, but I'm gonna put you down so I can sit and focus on my food and transferring over the content that I got at the gym. But I ended up talking with people while I was there, so it's like 1.20, and I still have this meal and three more left for the day. Uh, so typically I would love to have had two meals in at least by now and be starting my third. So we're gonna have to figure that one out timing wise, I think. 
Okay, it's a little bit later, but I got my next meal. I've got oats, blueberries. I put some cinnamon and some like flavor stevia drops in it. And then two eggs over easy and then some chicken. And then I'll have salt and pepper on the chicken and eggs and then cinnamon and maybe a little salt on top of here. And then also another of my um, baiting each day. The way that eating like whole eggs just made me so freaking happy. I used to eat like freaking four eggs a day when I was bulking and I haven't had whole eggs in like, I don't know how long cause I just didn't fit my macros. So that was super good. But then after, I haven't shown this before, but after every time I eat, I'm like going for like a, I'm like pacing around my apartment complex's parking lot to get some steps to help with digestion. So I'm gonna go do that now. And then I might go to the grocery store because I need more 96% ground beef cause I should've got some yesterday. And I'll probably just do that because everything else I would need would be at a different store and I don't feel like going to two different grocery stores right now, but I'm gonna go walk and then I usually scroll and message people back or whatever on Instagram, do like voice memos for clients, listen to a podcast. All right, hey, so I'm doing my, not dinner, I don't know, I got one more meal after this, but it's a really small one. So I've got jasmine rice, ground beef, 96%, and 100 grams of veggie sided green beans. She's a nice big meal. Um, and then salt and pepper on this one as well. And I took my baby in HCL with it too because I take that again every time I eat. So I'm gonna have this, again, just salt and pepper on it. I like, for whatever reason, I just like holding this out, but I feel like you don't wanna be like all up in my face. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and kinda take notes with it because I'm supposed to just like chill and like not do anything while I eat and be mindful. Um, but that's like fun for me, so hopefully it doesn't count. All right, last meal going down, not, Y'all might think it's sad. I'm excited for it. So I got 100 grams of veggies. So I had green beans again. And then chicken breast, avocado, salt, and pepper. So no like actual carbs in this meal. But I did drink a little bit earlier my Revive Fiber like drink. So I could make sure I hit my fiber target for the day. Just because it's like easy and I already had it. And I didn't have to buy other food and figure all that out or whatever. So salt and pepper on this one too. So I'm going to eat this. And then I took my baby in HCL, of course. And then I have a couple other supplements to take before bed, which I'll get you guys up with. Um, and then I'll also give you, I'll give you a little update right now, actually. So I get a little bit bloated still when I eat. But like between meals, like it actually went down. Like I feel, knock on wood, I feel like normal right now for the past little bit i didn't realize i was face my mom and my sister and i was explaining it to her and she was like i don't want to hear it blah blah, blah. if you say blood one more time my sister by the way my mom um she's like if you say blood one more time she goes let me see it because i was trying to explain to her i was like ellie i'm, I'm like at like two times like my size imagine like trying to my stomach pushing out that much it hurts and she's like let me see it i was like honestly it's not like that right now um so she was giving me some shit for it but yeah I like feel totally fine right now. I'm watching my friends, I have the volume down. I'm watching my friend is, is live on Instagram. So I'm watching that and I've been programming for clients and making different like food document, new protocol stuff for them. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. But again, I gotta be calm while I eat my food and then go, it's probably really freaking hot out, but go for a little walk outside to help with digestion. Okay, so just went for a little walk around my apartment complex and I am so tired like putting together thoughts like I don't know how to explain it I'm just so exhausted so I'm gonna go sit on my couch and start editing this video I think maybe work on some other client things it's like 9 what is it like 9.05 no I'm just kidding it's 8 30 p.m. all right realize I don't think I fully explained the purpose of all the supplements that I'm taking and I was gonna sit here and like talk through them but honestly I've talked so much today and my brain is like I'm I, I can t feel myself talking so slow and I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that so I'm gonna put them on the screen here and if you guys have questions on anything let me know I'm not sharing my macros I'm not sharing my dosages of anything I'm not sharing like the nitty-gritty of stuff just because I don't want anybody trying to copy what I'm doing, thinking that's gonna be what they need to do because it's not, it's what I need to do. I'm just kind of showing the update of stuff like that. And then I think I explained this before, but I'm so tired I can't even remember. Um, my hope is that adding in all this extra food, the supplements, and just being a little bit more strict on like the food sources and stuff like that. And we're just gonna see how my body responds, give it a little, little bit of time 
and hopefully soon everything is going to kind of regulate out especially if it's related to like my hormones and my thyroid being done regulated for being such an aggressive deficit for so long so fingers crossed i'll keep you guys updated today was the best day i've had so far in terms of everything like i still had some like bloating and distension and like a little bit of pain but nothing as bad as it had been past few days so i feel like i just look so tired but thank you guys for watching hopefully it was helpful or entertaining um, i promise i'll have more energy next time i talk to you guys but like comment subscribe let me know what else you want to see what other kind of videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys